It's been a while, but uh, someone is back <laughs> here on Anderson's TV. Dude! Hey, everybody. How's it been going? It's Very good. Better it's, now. You better, better now, now. Yeah, for yeah. being here. When was the last time I've seen your face? Is it February? <sighs> I think when it, I was on tour. Yes. Jeez. You came in here. You did a. Uh, we played a little you, song together. We played a song together. You did your master class, and yeah, yeah. Was that February? That was February. Yeah. And now it's September. Wow. Honestly, what's going on? And we were just talking about before. Anyway, it's it's our imposing everyone. I mean, it doesn't need any introduction, of course. But you know, but. We were talking about when you were in here the first time. That's three years ago, you were saying. Almost to the date, actually, which is crazy. When you did the first Captain Meeks in our studio downstairs. How crazy is that? I think it's like, <laughs> yeah, I think the older you get by a year, the, the, like it just goes by twice as fast every year or something like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. And you've been crazy busy. Been busy. It's good. Can't yeah. complain. Yeah. Can't complain. What have you been up to? Uh, I've been... Playing shows, recording, working on new music, lots of stuff. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm got a lot of touring coming up. And your album came out in January. Yeah, early this uh, year as well. But there's new music coming, and there's a lot of touring coming. I'm going to be back in the UK too. Haven't officially announced yet, but here's a little, <gasps> here's a little, just saying it. <gasps> but but there's there's another thing I've been up to. Yeah, what is that then? Well, I most of, that's <laughs> the reason why. It's the reason why you're here, basically. It's not it, to see me. Oh, it's to see us. It's to see actually us. Actually, the reason it? is to see you that I'm here. <laughs> it just happened to be that I might have a pedal with me <gasps> as well. Is it a pedal? A pedal. Well, well, I brought it for you to see. Yes. Right here. Okay, so. Hudson. I think we started stocking. Uh, we've, we've stocked Hudson for a while now at Anderson's. And yeah. you've used it for... I've been I've been a yeah I've been a Hudson user for a couple years yeah at least and they do some great stuff they do some great stuff and I really love I've always loved this pedal because um, it's just like a different overdrive there's so many overdrives out there yeah oh man but it's it's like its own thing <laughs> in a way yes. I know we've heard this before yeah, yeah. Um, and Michael Hudson yes uh, and I have been talking for well we've been talking from the beginning that I've started using these pedals, but yeah. we've been talking for a year about doing something together. Yeah. And I had some ideas, and of course he had some great ideas, and it literally took a year of going back and forth and trying things, but we have come up with something. Now stop talking and let's see it. All right. Let's stop, stop talking and show us. All right. Because I'm very excited about this. Of course, I've had a little fiddle and another one, but it's, anyway. Okay. Let's have it, let's have it, let's look. I present to you. Uh, and thanks to everybody. I know there's been some rumblings of this going on, and it's you know it's been a bit I of a, I it's, it's some been sprinkling. A, yeah. I appreciate everybody's patience, <laughs> but I'm very excited now to pronounce or announce, announce. to you the broadcast AP. It's cool, and it there looks it, is. it looks so cool. It's different from the other ones, so. right? It is different. Um, I mean, the, it's got the look. Yeah, it's yeah. just something different, you know, it's got the little logo there, it's got a different logo as well. Same old, like all the stuff you, I, I love about the original broadcast bell, yeah. it's there, but it's just evolved and it's different. Yeah. Um, so I'm very proud of this, it's, it's been, you know, it's taken a while, but yeah. we, we got there. Yeah. And I'm excited. Yeah. I'm happy about it. You know what I'm excited about? What? Hearing you play it. Hey. So we plug it in. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. 
yeah. in the room. I missed that. I missed good, that. Good to play with you, my friend. Ah, uh, you too, man. Missed you. Right. Yeah. They sound amazing. It sound amazing. There's two of them here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Right? I'm excited. I'm happy about these. Clean um, amps. Clean amps, totally this clean. This thing, straight in there. Yeah. So, when you first came in, I had a little play earlier this morning. Um, and it's, it's, it's so you. I was saying to Taylor as well when playing, it's like, this is just Ariel in a box, man. Nice. You know what I mean? I like that. And that is what, that's what you need. And that's what you, if you are doing any sickness and stuff, you just need to do your thing. It has to be your thing because you're going to play it. Exactly. So if, you, if you're going to make something, then it's going to be something that you want to play. And yeah. then people that like your tone, they'll go, that's what I want then. You yeah. know what I mean? And totally. that's, that, I think that's really important than just making another... Tube Screamer version or, or a, or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, this is what I like. And this and there's, that's a big reason, like, this is why we did this. Is yeah. It is different. Yeah. Just the broadcast on its own is, in my opinion, mm. is different. And that's why it's always stuck out to me. It's yeah. like, it's it's kind of its own thing. Yeah. Um, but you tweak that to meet your style yeah. and your playing thing. Because you play with this, which is... Talk about the guitar. Just explain to people. You're probably seeing. Yeah, you've probably this seen before, this. But... This is a. This is my mule. It's a. It's in baritone tuning, so it's in B standard. B E A D F sharp B. So same as standard tuning. Yeah. Uh, but it's just lower tuned. It gives you some. It's just a different thing. I, I don't know. I've been using it a lot. Yeah. And it's. It's. You know. I've been. You know, because we follow each other and stuff, and seeing your jam and play around, and that's your your thing. Is that's your kind of tone, and straight into the amp, it gives that kind of little bit of a crank thing, but it's like nice and full and fat. Mm. And then with this, yeah, it just goes. But anyway, let, let's, but I mean, the, the, these things sound great with any like lower output pickups. Those are always my favorite. You know, it's like yeah, a yeah. telly, something like this. Yeah, but humbuckers too. It really takes it well. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you this, so yeah, like let's, the, let's the broadcast it, itself, for those that aren't familiar with the, the broadcast, what it resembles is like a Neve style, like a preamp type of thing, yeah. almost more than an overdrive. It's yeah. clearly an overdrive. Yeah. Um, but what the original one had, it's germanium, I keep pointing to this, but the original one, do you have an original one yeah, here? I think it's, no, there's a okay. sidecar, there is one somewhere, but yeah. That's okay, so yeah. the original one, germanium, uh, two, dual switch, so you get normal overdrive and then a fuzz side yeah uh it would be volume gain low cut and then a volume for the other like the fuzz side yeah and i love that pedal again it's yeah. great yeah but i just wanted to do something different and sim and simpler with it yeah so what we've ended up doing is first of all it's silicon instead of germanium all the broadcasts are germanium except this one this yeah. is silicon um and our setup is volume gain mm -hmm. And then rather than a low cut knob, we now have a switch. So up like this, it's kind of engages a high pass. Yeah. And then down, it's more of like, like a low cut type of thing. Yeah. And it can be trimmed and there's trimmers inside. If you really want to get nerdy with it, you can open up the pedal and there's trimmers to tweak the low cut level okay. and tweak the gain. So you can make it like real, like broken, crispy, fuzzy sounding yeah. too. But it's, it's, there's enough gain in here for me Me too. When I me too. dialed it up, I was like, that's, that's plenty for me, you know. Me too. And yeah. like, the reason I say it's a Swiss Army knife pedal, because first of all, I think it does an always on, like light to medium overdrive really well. Yeah. Like you can just leave it on all the time yeah. with a nice clean amp. It, uh, it does a clean boost really well. Yeah. And it can do like a fuzz and like a full on overdrive as yeah, well. Yeah. It really can do, and it's, it doesn't take much. It's a super dynamic pedal, and I love dynamic pedals. And dynamic everything. It has to be like that. Yeah. You when, when you evolve as a player, you figure out that dynamic is so important, right? But it's let's like the let's, most important. Let's. I'm sure people want to hear a bit more. Yeah. So just play some tones. Man. Okay. Let's let's have a listen. So to let's, it. let's yeah. So here we go. I'll just start. Everything at twelve. Everything at twelve. So clean <laughs> into the V4. Actually, no, it's the V4, V140, V140 yeah. right. So, and that's another cool thing that, that, we, that you didn't mention, but oh, actually yeah, they yeah. take... We're going to get there, yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll, well, I'll say it now, because now I've kind of led into it, but yeah, yeah. it does 9 and up to 24 volts yes. for much higher headroom, and which is insane. Totally. So, 
there was a limited version broadcast. I think it was the 24 volt yeah. broadcast. But this one, you can, you know, you run it at nine volts, you'll get your normal, it'll saturate the way you expect it to. Yeah. Um, you can run it up to 18 or 24 volts. You just get more headroom. Yeah. So, you know, you could run a keyboard through it. You could run a bass through it. You could run all these things through it and it'll react differently yeah. with different headroom. Yeah. So you're running at 18, I'm right? I'm running 18. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a, in a yeah, bit. Yeah, when, we'll get to that. When, yeah, we'll, we'll swap, swap them over. So here's, here's what it sounds like. with the gain all the way up. And then one of my favorite ways to use it um, uh, so like, this is like, basically I always play with an overdrive on at all times. Yeah, yeah. But my volume lives at like six or seven, so it, it cleans up. So if I had it like this, let's say. It's clean, but with a little bit of hair on it. But you can get that sound right out the gate, like this. Full volume. So with the, just do that. So it yeah, takes the lows off when, you, when you're up there, doesn't it? Yes. So. It's a lot of different sounds. Um, <laughs> it's fun. I want to hear you play. It's I really, really fun, isn't it? So, okay, so let's do. So this is. So keep in mind, I was at nine volts. I chose to go nine mm. volts because it's like a hundred watt amp, right? Yeah. So. That's well, well, let's let's first before we do anything like that. Let's just go see if we can. You know, yeah, yeah, let's do it. It's very nine volts and eighteen volts. It's always you kind of have to play it to feel it as well. You know. It is a feel thing for yeah. sure. So. Uh, that's the clean into yeah. the DP40. Oh, thank you. leave it there. Oosh. So that was nine. That was nine. So this is 18. What? Do you feel a difference? Yeah. yeah. Woo. It's just like there's so much more body with the more headroom, obviously. Yes. Have... 
Oh, that's like a massive, massive difference. difference. Yeah, that's yeah. a massive difference. But that that might not be everybody's thing. Some people want that like contained, saturated thing more so than like the real punchy headroom thing. Yeah, but that's the, that's why there's some of these like the uh, one spot we run down here. You can you can sack the. Oh, Vol yeah, voltage, yeah. so you can take the voltage down to like five or seven watts. So it's like it, if it's like oh, I need some more power. Blah, 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 but doing it, that, you know. But it works really well because like so like a forty watt amp. Those yeah. things are loud still. Yeah. But you know, if you might not be getting enough, just like push. You run that at eighteen volts, and it'll just kind of push the you air can, a bit more than it. you would at nine volts. <laughs> It's just a clean boost. It doesn't really, yeah. Like an always on, you know? Yeah, yeah, an always on. That's that's at 18. Check this out. It's more. It's, there's more drive. There's more drive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And like I was saying, you can open up the bottom. There's these trimmers. Yeah. So if you want it to be even more gainy than that, it yeah. can be. But you also got your pickups. Probably got a bit more output in mine, have they? Or these I'm are pretty sure. low output. Okay. Probably more than but, yours. And you but. got yeah, but it, yeah, but it's it's this is the thing. It's also here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's help. why it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's why it'll it's, react it's so differently cool. yeah. to everybody. Yeah. And now now we're talking about how how does how would it do? If, for instance, we took one of these. Oh yes. And put that into uh, so we get the Dane into well, uh, the Dane. <laughs> get you into me or yeah, I mean, no? Yeah. Actually, it would be me into you. No, you into me. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it, it's interesting. People. Because you were talking about uh, that it reacts really well with other pedals as well. As a clean boost, so, yeah. As a clean boost, yeah, yeah, yeah. or just as a as a, d d d a driven pedal, but with a other driven pedal into it. So let's it see stacks, what it stacks. Yeah, it stacks what are you well trying to say? With, it stacks well. Yeah, but like, why don't we? It stacks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's Thursday today, and it's been a long. I was going to say it's Monday, right? It's Monday. Oh, no, it's yeah, Thursday. Yeah, it's Monday. No, no it's Thursday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. We're back. So. So, as you know, uh, and if you've got one of these, a Dane, you just have to buy one of these because of they pair what's well. going to happen right now. Um, so, you know, this is like an, uh, a boost on one side and a, just a normal drive on the other yeah. side. Um, and y you... So let's go drive. Yeah, yeah you, you, you set it up like you would... So here's just clean. So I'm into that now. Yeah, so we're into... So how would you run this? So like normally I would I would do this kind of thing. I would hit it like that. So okay. let's go a bit. And I like it because it's not too gainy still. Yeah. It definitely gets louder. Are we yeah. is that at 18 or 9 volts? That's an 18 now. Okay, so you, we're getting way more headroom. Yeah. It pushes the Dane rather than like adding another overdrive onto yeah, yeah, it. It's yeah. like taking it's taking like what's there yeah. and not really changing the sound that much. It's yeah, just yeah. adding a bit yeah. more crispiness, almost I mean, like a, like this preamp yeah. or like a. But this could be anything. Just it could be any two overdrives. It's yeah, yeah. We've got a boost and a drive in one pedal, and we can. It pushes and like it pushes so well, like as a clean boost. It just boost. lays on top really it's, nicely. That's actually how I've been using it primarily, yeah. mostly lately. Yeah. Um, so it, after it, your your drive stuff. Yeah, yeah. After so like with a fuzz too, it works. It just it Let's, works really well. It's hard to set this a gainy kind of way. Okay. Yeah. Push the gain. Yeah. Like, 
Or maybe let's go, let's go back to nine volts. Let's go nine volts. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So that's a cool, like, this is now... Like Pretty more, meaty, yeah. Yeah, so now we, we're going to use a boost pedal into, into the broadcast. This is your clean tone. That's the boot. Yeah. So if you have one of these, you just have to get they one. They pair of really Absolutely. nicely. Yeah. Hey. It sounds, it just sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you know, we're not here to talk about this, so, but but it's just to show that this pedal is just great with other pedals. Totally. You know? And of course, you know, you have to have us into each other. It's just you gotta, the, have, yeah. It's the best I thing I mean, ever. We're, we're friends in real life. <laughs> and in real life, these are friends too. They get, they get along. Do, should we open one up and, and mess with the trimmer? Do you have a look? We Let's can have a do, look. absolutely. Alright, so we're back. I don't know if you can see up on this camera here. We've taken the... We opened the, it up. We opened it up, man. And um, so you've got three pots here. Yeah. You've got more gain. You've got uh, low, low cut, cut. And you've got less lows. So three trim pots. Three trim pots. Say that quickly. The trifecta. Three trim pots, three trim pots. Three, 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 pots. three trim pots. Three trim pots. I can't say it. Anyway. So we'll turn it on. Okay, we'll do so, some playing and we'll... So, so you guys here's, can here's the clean. Do you just want to have it like, like, yeah, like that kind of yeah. thing? Here's uh, more gain. So there's that kind of broken sound, you yeah, know? Yeah. I just turned it down a bit, oh. so you can, you can set it to whichever kind of whatever you like. So as you, you know? can hear, like where it starts, it's a real. I mean, it's not over the top, but you can get there if that's your. Oh, thing. you can go completely. Yeah, yeah which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> let's so try. That's the low cut. Uh, so let's try the low cut. So that's taking it all the low. I'm taking all. That's great, man. Cool. And here's uh, less lows. So I mean, that's, if that, you're, that is amazing, if you're the type of person that likes to open up a pedal and, and mess with it, yeah, I mean, you could, we're getting ahead of ourselves. If you had two, <laughs> you know, you could set one over the top. You can have one subtle. You can have, I mean, you can do a lot. We've got a hundred here at Anderson's exclusive. I, I think you need to be quick to buy them. And they are about 190. So about that, you know, just have the look at the links below for that. Price and they're available today, pedal. as of today, right? Yeah. So it's like, you better get in there quick, because I think they're going to go. Because they're... Freaking great. Freaking awesome. Um, I'm going to switch guitars, <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we just swapped we guitars We swapped some here. guitars, yeah. Um, 
I went to a strat, you went to some hamburgerish there in the, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the poles. So let's see what it sounds like with that. All right, so. It's a, it's a monster, I guess. Stop being so good. Nah, okay. uh, That's the strat. I don't know why I'm playing that all the time at the moment, those chords. It just sounds great, man. It just sounds like the great. Strat. It likes the sweat as well. It
sounded great, man. Damn you, I don't think there's anything else to say than that. Broadcast AP. Yes. Available. You're happy? Through Android. I'm yeah. happy. This has literally been a year yeah. of uh, back and forth. So yeah. I'm so happy it's finally out. I hope you guys like it. I think you will like it. You will. You, it, it just, it's just, get one. It's great. <laughs> It's great. Well done, man. Congratulations. Thank you, man. And thank you for coming in. And check Always. the links are below. And go and check Ariel out on his Instagram, Ariel Posen, and Facebook, and follow him, and go and, oh. go and see his shows and all that stuff, because he deserves it. So. Well, thank you. Thanks, man. Love you, man. Good to see you. you man. See you soon. Take care.